Just because they're rich, famous, and sometimes even powerful celebrities, it doesn't mean that actors can't be fired. They seem to have it all, so it is hard to imagine, but it probably happens a lot more than you'd think. And sometimes, it's a lot worse than you would imagine. Say, for instance, that you're an actor who's filmed all your scenes, and the director has a last-minute epiphany that you just aren't right for the role. Whether it's a contract problem, money issue, or simply not being a good fit, getting fired is not a fun situation to be in. If you like what you see, check out our YouTube channel for more of our videos. This is healthy. This is good. But in the meantime, check out these 10 actors who were fired during production. And before we start, can you guess this movie from these emojis? Stay tuned for the answer at the end of our video. Edward Norton in The Avengers Edward Norton is known for his incredible work in films like Fight Club, where he played the unreliable narrator, and American History X as a reformed neo-Nazi. Additionally, Norton appeared as Bruce Banner in the 2008 Hulk movie. He was expected to reprise his role as the green monstrous hero in The Avengers. However, Marvel Studios said it wanted another actor more suitable for playing the character. Norton reportedly met with director Joss Whedon and was told Mark Ruffalo was chosen for the role instead, claiming that Ruffalo was much easier to work with. They say he's one of the best, but a really nice guy. Hmm. Terrence Howard in Iron Man 2 Terrence Howard could have had an integral part in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but all of that disappeared in the blink of an eye. If you remember, Howard co-starred in the 2008 Iron Man film as James Rhodes, aka War Machine, but was replaced by Don Cheadle in Iron Man 2. Howard has stated that he had a three-picture deal, and was guaranteed $4.5 million for the first movie, $8 million for the second, and an undisclosed amount for the third. However, the studio only offered him one-eighth of the original agreed amount for Iron Man 2, which is sadly only a measly $1 million. You don't respect yourself, so I know you don't respect me. Aside from the low-ball offer, Howard was also told the film would be a success with or without him. Ouch. It's nice seeing you, Tony. Stuart Townsend in Lord of the Rings Stuart Townsend is undoubtedly a talented actor, but he just hasn't landed a role that earns him an A-list status. This could be because he's missed a few major opportunities. The biggest came when, after months of intense training and preparation, he was fired from the role of Aragorn just as filming was commencing on Lord of the Rings The Fellowship of the Ring. At the very last minute, director Peter Jackson decided that the 26-year-old Townsend was too young for the role, and replaced him with Viggo Mortensen. Unfortunately, Townsend missed another big opportunity when he dropped out of the Marvel blockbuster Thor. Oh god, I can't even tell you how much I'm not your little bunny. Megan Fox in Transformers after appearing in both Transformers and Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, Megan Fox was replaced as Michaela Baines. Back in 2009, the actress made several remarks about director Michael Bay, comparing him to Hitler. Apparently, Fox said to Wonderland magazine, he's like Napoleon and he wants to create this insane, infamous madman reputation. He wants to be like Hitler on his sets, and he is, so he's a nightmare to work for. After the interview was published, Fox was fired and replaced with Rosie Huntington Whiteley. Okay, ready? Okay. Anne Hathaway in Knocked Up The Devil Wears Prada actress Anne Hathaway was originally cast as lead Alison Scott in Judd Apatow's 2007 comedy Knocked Up. In the film, Alison ends up getting pregnant after a one-night stand with Ben Stone, played by Seth Rogen. <laughs> but it looks as though Hathaway had an issue with the birthing scene, which she described as too graphic. You kidding me? Okay. Are you kidding? In the end, Apatow decided to let Anne go and replaced her with Katherine Heigl. Get out! Oh, no. Doug Ray Scott in X-Men You can't mention X-Men or Wolverine without picturing Hugh Jackman's face. But it would surprise you to know that he was not the first choice for the role. Russell Crowe was originally eyed for it, but his salary demands were too high. Next, Doug Ray Scott was cast as Logan. However, playing Wolverine required a sequel, and Scott's conflicting schedule with Mission Impossible 2 made it, quite literally, an impossible mission. So the role was instead given to Hugh Jackman. Sean Young in Batman Kim Basinger embodied the character of Vicki Vale in Tim Burton's 1989 Batman flick. It was like the actress was made for the role, but she wasn't actually the first choice. Sean Young was initially set to play the journalist. Unfortunately, the Blade Runner actress could not continue on in the role after she broke her arm from falling off a horse in rehearsal. Ryan Gosling in The Lovely Bones In Peter Jackson's 2009 film The Lovely Bones, Ryan Gosling initially earned the part of Jack Salmon. 
Gosling decided he needed to gain weight to play the grieving father, and put on 60 pounds by melting haagen ice cream and drinking it. When Gosling arrived on set the first day, Jackson was all but impressed. The two apparently had different ideas of what the character should look like, and in the end, Gosling was replaced by Mark Wahlberg. Who are you? Who? Who is but the form following the function of what, and what I am is a man in a mask. James Purefoy in V for Vendetta James Purefoy was originally cast in the role of V in the 2005 film adaptation of the 1988 DC Vertigo comic series V for Vendetta. About six weeks into filming, Purefoy complained about wearing the mask, saying he couldn't do it for the entire film. Ultimately, this led to him being replaced by Hugo Weaving, and the rest is history. Amanda Seyfried in As the World Turns The blonde bombshell Amanda Seyfried is best known for her role as the ditzy teen Karen Smith in Mean Girls. But what you may not have known is Seyfried got her start at 11 years old on popular soap operas like All My Children and As the World Turns. Unfortunately, Seyfried's acting in the latter was so bad she was fired. She played Lucy Montgomery on the soap and revealed she was so uncomfortable on screen that the only option was to ship the character off. As devastating as that is, it did prompt Seyfried to take some acting classes and enhance her skills. That's not bad. What do you think of our list? Do you know of any other surprising firings in Hollywood? And the answer to the movie emoji is... Did you get the right answer? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Screen Rant for more fun videos like this one.